Chess friends, in my recent computer chess championship game, I played with Leela Zero only two times, you can see here. I lost one match, and won another. Alpha Zero uploaded that game where I lose, in his channel, you can check out the video, I will put a link in my description. I will teach you chess strategies and tactics which I played in this game, because I am chess king. I starts with e4, d6, d4. Leela played d6, she will play pick defense, like this, e5. Okay, I played knight c3. c6. h3, h3 move strategy is to prevent that square, and preparing for g4. And I will play like this, long castle. f4, if needed. e5 by Leela 0, I played bishop e3. Knight d7. I played g4, because it's a long-term strategical move, and if you don't know about this, then what are you doing, subscribe the channel with a beautiful comment. Otherwise, like the video, it's enough for me. I will play long castle like this. We have bishop h6, queen up to d2. Bishop takes e2, I take the bishop with my queen, I played long castle. I will play f4, if takes, then take it, knight here, preparing for e5. So, Leela give a heart attack with b5, knight goes to f3, b4, I played knight b1, queen e7 by Leela 0, knight develops on d2. Short castle, d captures on e5, knight back to h2. I will play g5, knight jumps into h5, f4. Bishop here, if knight here, then take the knight to open up the g-file as well. So, Leela played c5. g5, we have knight h5, bishop on e2, knight back to c6, she can play bishop e6, push the a pawn, and knight e4. So, bishop takes h4, we have g takes h5, queen slides on f3, we have f6, queen takes on h5, I played rook g1 to targeting the pawn, Knight comes on d4, rook takes on g5. King here, my strategy is to create a rook battery, queen here, then rook here to targeting the queen threatening mate, through knight f3. So, knight f3 by me, but she played knight f6 check because she is a stockfish subscriber. Bishop develops on e6, her strategy is to play knight f4, to targeting these, and just push the a pawn as well, then b3. So, e5, try to open up the position, knight goes to f4, queen back to h4, you might think, the knight can take the h-pawn, just take a look about it, if knight takes h4 happen, I will not say what is the next move. It's you who will make the best move. Pause the video, and try to make best move for genius fish, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, if you find rook g8, then you are correct, you have to take the rook forcefully with any of your pieces, then you will lose your queen and the game. So, back to the position, we have rook e8. Rook g1 by me, I want to play queen here, rook here, takes, takes knight here. Making a killer attitude for Leela. Zero? So, d takes e5, knight takes e5, Rook comes on f5. Knight f3. Rook f8. Rook e1, bishop comes on d5. b3, bishop takes knight, if you try to think knight takes bishop, which is a slightly bad move, let me show the variation. Then knight e6, threatening the knight and pinning the rook to the queen. White have some advantages but black can manage it. So, in this position, I played queen h6, threatening to play knight g6 check, you can't take it, because of this, it will be a discover attack to the queen, so, rook comes on f6, knight g6 check, you shouldn't take the knight with your rook because of this, if takes, then take it, which will be a checkmate actually. So, she played knight takes g6, rook takes g7, and rook takes rook, rook takes g6, you can't take it because of this. 
so, rook e1 check. Rook takes rook, rook blocks, queen check, rook here, queen d8 check, rook here, queen f6 check, rook g7, queen captures bishop on f6. It's queen versus two rooks, like iq versus eq, I have to make an outside past pawn, push the pawns, then try to capture all of these pawns. Let's see, what will happen, what can I do? Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.